while we may have done 90% of the work on this van ourselves, and we're about 90% done, we're not professionals. So please consult a professional with all your questions, and remember to wear the proper safety gear, including the Crocs. So second day van build, we are putting in swivels, at least the passenger for tonight. Maybe we'll tackle the driver, we'll see. But as of right now, we got the seat off. Nice, clean and waiting. And you can see we have the leather seats with heating and motion, or what do you call those? Adjustable, like the electronic. Elect adjustable, so, and heater. So we pulled that off. And now we're putting the amazing auto swivel seats on. Now we did have to pull up some tabs here to make it sit a little bit flush and make sure we got the holes in right. And then we also are gonna have to drill in some holes here because there's a little tab on the back of our seat, if you can see that is right there, that little tab right there. Gotta make some room for it. So we are working on that tonight. the swivel to work we need to cut the chair just perfectly so it swivels all the way around and doesn't catch or hit anything so this is our first cut I'm measuring 10 times cutting once <laughs> eyeball test the whole bit Are we cutting? We're cutting. Oopsie. No. <laughs> Isn't that funny? Don't give me crap, I should have wore a protection, I know. Oh, yep. So I think, look how perfect we made right by that bracket. Jigsaw blade is almost too short to finish going through there. So there you go. Some people are a little worried about this bracket, um, but just know that if you raise the seat all the way up, um, it clears. 
So you definitely have to raise it up all the way, but then that way you're not cutting into this other bracket or just making cuts that aren't needed. And raise the seat up when it's sitting, mount the swivel, put the seat on the swivel, take that back. Raise the seat up when the power is still hooked up before you even take it off. So it's in the highest position because you're only going to be able to swivel it when you raise the chair up anyways. So raise it up, that way you know it's at its highest marking before you measure and cut. Yeah, before you measure and cut. Then you'll clear the bar. So once again, raise the seat all the way up before you take it off and disconnect. So that way you know exactly where to cut. All right. Can you release it on? Well, maybe we should do a little test fit real quick. Okay. And, oh, yeah. and get an idea and make sure it'll clear. Okay. Unless we have to uh, do any extra trimming and then it'll pull it off and sand it nice. Okay. Did pretty good though. You got it? Now, those little bits that we showed you before that um, we we're saying that you have to cut into the swivel, we actually are going to take, because with the swivel, it comes with a bunch of these washers. washers. And these washers, if we put, because it just seems like it's just the perfect spacing, that we're going to use washers to do some spacing just so it doesn't put pressure on that. And also more cuts that just don't need to happen. So we're going to try that out. I'm not going to bolt this on, just going to... Alright guys, so it got a little dark the other night when we finished putting in the swivel seat in the passenger side. And something we didn't get to show you was uh, the 10-way power adjustment on the seats. Worked great, except they wouldn't go forward or backwards more than a couple inches. And I'll show you that in a sec. And so, we ended the other night with me thinking that I ruined our awesome seats in the brand new van or something crazy by doing what I did but turns out the sliding kind of track that the seat moves on was hitting one of the washers uh, used when we bolted the seat to the swivel so um, I moved the seat back and forth a bunch of times with the flashlight looking under there trying to figure it out and I finally spotted it I'm gonna try to show it to you and then I came up with a solution that hopefully will work and get this thing back in operation so let's see if I can show you. Oh. So I don't know if you can see. It's quite hard to see this little track on the right hand side when it comes up, hits that washer. Same thing when the seat goes forward, it eventually hits the washer going forward as well. So. The solution I came up with, luckily the swivel kits include a few extra bolts and a handful of extra washers. So I bolted eight washers together, which is the amount I'd need uh, for both the driver and passenger side. I kind of assumed the driver would have the same issue. Um, I already loosened the bolt. I bolted them so they're even, lined up the flat side of, of the bolt with the flat side of the nut, and then took an angle grinder with a cutoff wheel, went and clamped it in a vise, and then just kind of uh, use the edge of the bolts as a guide. Since they give me a few extra ones, wasn't overly worried about damaging a bolt. I think I shaved it a little bit, you can see there, but essentially cut the washers flat, but it still has enough that it won't, you know, the bolt slides into the hole. So I didn't know of another solution. Um, maybe a smaller diameter washer would have solved it, but this is what I'm gonna go with. All right, so let's go ahead and see. Let's go ahead and see if this works. Oh yeah. You can see how I shaved the edge of that bolt. I know it's hard to see, but that clears the track.
Yeah, sweet. I'll probably put the ones on the front just in case. Um, so it goes forward all the way, barely hits those. Excellent, solved the problem. All right guys, so I'm working on the driver's side swivel. You now the scary part of trimming the seat, declare, done, over with. That's simple now, now that I know how to do it. Um, working on getting the swivel itself bolted on. Um, since I have the 10-way power adjustable seats with heat, they have a set of wires with a plug that comes out of them. Uh, that set of wires doesn't seem to want to tuck out of the way enough, so the swivel is kind of resting on top of it. I don't know if it's pinching or not, but I'll show you what I mean here. So this set of wires here, I've tried to tuck it in the corner there, but still, I don't know how to got to play with that because right now it's definitely resting on it. This is the driver's side and I have the two batteries. So both batteries sit under here. So on the other side it's basically empty. Lots of room to tuck it away, it's not a big deal. So I'll see what I can't figure out on this one and if it's something creative I'll let you know. Alright, so I think I found a way to route that wire. I had to get a little creative, tried a couple options. Um, there's a plate bracket that kind of spans across the top of the batteries and also kind of acts the cover on the back of the seat. I took that out because it gave me a lot more room but then when I, re I realized that it kind of aesthetically covers an opening so I put it back on there. One of the bolts from the swivel mechanism itself does push down on it slightly but it's not enough to impede anything it doesn't seem so let me show you what I'm talking about here. All right, so this is where this carpet piece is, right? You have this bracket which spans underneath to the front, right? The, the swivel is loosely sitting here. The wire normally comes up from here and goes across the top of that bracket. So I disconnected this zip tie, popped out the grommet, and ran it in this opening under behind it. You can kind of see it right there. And then over. That length should be enough, right, because once it's installed, it needs to be able to swivel with the seat, and that should be perfect. Um, we've finished lining up these holes. Seems to be sitting proper. We'll get it bolted down.